Well, these are certainly difficult times that we're living in. The coronavirus has caused a lot of fear. People are scared. The stock market's crashing. So what do we do? We need to keep our mind on God. This morning, I want to talk to you about renewing your mind during a turbulent time in your morning cup of inspiration. This video is also going to be used as part of a self management care course that will be offered free through the Chesapeake Bible College. You, you can check out their Facebook page to learn more about that. Boy, the other day I was overcome with fear. I woke up in the morning and it just gripped me. I thought, the world is ending. And then I decided that I needed to get my mind going in another direction. So I put on some great Christian music on YouTube. I listened to Ernie Haas in the cathedral sing, Oh, What a Savior. And that song is filled with faith and how one day we will be with him forever and he will pull us through all of life's difficulties. Then I put on a song called We Shall Behold Him by Sandy Patty, another powerful song that talks about the day that we'll see Jesus and all of his glory and all of this will fade away. And finally, I listened to the cathedrals singing your redemption draweth an eye. And by the end of that, my faith was strong. I was ready to go. I said, I'm not going to give in to fear. I'm not going to let this virus take me down. I'm going to renew my mind and focus it on God. The Bible talks about keeping our mind in the right place. In Isaiah, in the Old Testament, chapter 26, verses 3 and 4, we read, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Verse 4 says, Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. Where is your trust? Is it in the stock market? Is it in your possessions? Or is it in God? Boy, he's the source of everlasting strength. And then in 2 Timothy, which is in the New Testament, chapter 1, verse 7, we read, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. We're going to get through this. We're going to make it. We're going to be okay. We need to pray for those who have been touched by this coronavirus. We need to do social distancing so that we are responsible. But let's use this time when we're quarantining to focus our mind on God, to spend time in prayer, reading his word and enjoying our family and our loved ones. Let me pray right now. Lord, I pray for everyone affected by this virus. God, touch and heal. And Lord, inspire our leaders. Give them wisdom. Everyone who is working on this, help us to find the answer. Help them to find an antidote and that the cases would come down and that we would experience a healing in our land and over the entire world. Thank you that we can keep our mind on you and you can give us peace. In thy name, thy name I pray, amen. I hope that helps you keep your mind stayed on God and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.